Um, my question po, um, in 2007, Chief, the Supreme Court under CJ Puno uh, was proactive in the face of rising killings and disappearances and that it promulgated the rules on Amparo and the habeas data. My question is, does the Supreme Court see a similar urgency now and will it be as proactive as before given that there is also a report from the United Nations Human Rights Office that police are planting guns in crime scenes and that abuses are probably incited yeah. by the rhetoric of the president. Yeah. There are no cases pending before the SC, no? On Rit of Amparo, Rit of Hapiaro's data, there are no pending, no? We are still active you know, because the rules are still there. If there are complaints or the complaints that, uh, about uh, disappearances or forced disappearances, and uh, surveillance, unnecessary surveillance, they can come to court and then file the necessary, the necessary petitions. And there are still there are petitions pending now in the court of appeals, and even in the Supreme Court on habeas data and uh, and Rito Pamparo. Yeah, we, 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 you know, it's still there. Yeah. Ano na pong status ng Human Rights Committee that was supposed to be headed by Sandigan Bayan PJ Tang? And for my second question, Chief, because the Anand Bank has already acted on it, maybe you can discuss ano po yung naging decision on merit dun sa petition to disclose the health of President Duterte. What was the court's interpretation of Section 12, Article 7? Uh, you, uh, yeah. you, you just wait na lang po. <laughs> you know, we'll be, we'll be I, I don't know, have you not received yet the resolution of the court? Not yet po. Yeah. In due time, you will receive the resolution. Ayaw kong, ano eh, ayaw kong overtake yung ano eh. Your resolution because the resolution will be drafted by the member in charge, you know, and then it will be released after that. I think it will be released soon. Pasensya na lang muna, so ay kung unahan yung release of the resolution. But tapos na nga, tapos na nga. Yeah. That's all right, Chief. Yung ano na lang po follow up ko po. Human rights. Yung, yung, yeah, you, you, that, you, it's good that you ask that. Ano, you ask that question. Ano mo? I just uh, assume my position. Last uh, November, no? and then the, as you we, we all know, I had a ten-point program, so I gave preference to my ten-point program. Kaya lang na overtaken by this pandemic, yung long March, so na na ko na kon na konting na delay yung mga projects natin. But that is a good question because that the Human Rights Committee was organized, I think, by the former Chief Justice. You know, I don't know if you, I think it was just Chief Justice. Yeah, it was it was actually organized by the former chief. I will look into it. I will look to it. If there is a need to reorganize it, or there is uh, there is a need to change the the members or require them to uh, start uh, having meetings pertaining to human rights. So, thank you, ah. Huh? Thank you, thank you, Pucci. Yeah. Okay.